OK, the next type of rule file to add is just one for simple streets. So we can see we've done vegetation or trees, plants. We've done buildings. Uh, the next one is going to be the simple streets. So you can see the streets or the roads uh, in the city engine scene in front of me. You'll notice they look a bit strange at the moment, so we're just going to clean that up. So in the table of contents, any sort of road network is going to be called a graph network in city engine. So we can right click and select that. Once it all goes blue, we can just drag streets on. So we've got a few options just by default. We've got uh, streets more than simple, streets more than standard, and then there's a few additional ones I'll show you in later videos. But for now, we'll just stick to the simple one. Simply select that and drag it on until everything goes orange. Let go, and that should apply straight away. So we can see on the right hand side, we've got some settings. Now, one of the things people want to clean up straight away are these end nodes, and that's these big um, sort of roundabout uh, ends, a bit like you get in some cul-de-sacs at the end of every single road. So we can fix that. In the inspector, we can click through a couple of options uh, and look at the attributes. So we've got shapes, we've got segments. So the one we're looking for is nodes. If we select nodes, we can see uh, this type. At the moment, it says smart. We can change that to crossing. And that's just going to get rid of some of those ends. OK. So like all things in City Engine, it's just best to go through, have a play with all the settings. We can change some of the uh, sidewalk width. Uh, and we can change lots of things about them. So they're very interactive. All right, that's enough about streets. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for future videos.